And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Password Express. Um, I think this is kind of like, um, oh yes, I need to type in my password to my computer, and I remember it started with an F, and I don't remember anything else, and... Um, of course, we don't have that problem nowadays. We just email and get a reset sent to us immediately <laughs> if we forget our passwords. But you can't do that here. This is actually a party style game. It's not a deduction game. I thought it was figure out the password. It's not. It's a party style game where you're trying to think of words that start with a letter or have that letter as their second um, letter or it's your third letter. Things like that. It actually is pretty interesting. It's a team versus team game. Here's how it plays. In this game, players are split into two teams, red versus blue. And you're gonna separate a stack of cards, put them here, put these one, two, three plus cards in the middle of the table. One team goes first, so let's say red team goes first. You're gonna flip the top card of each stack over like this. And then the timer's flipped. So the way this works is your team, while the timer's running, and it's not a very long timer, is going to have to find words, like this says TV show, this is clothes and accessories, this is monuments, and this is diseases. And you need to find ones that um, have these letters in these positions. So for example, I'm like, ooh, the Statue of Liberty. Well, that doesn't start with an L, doesn't have an L for the second letter, doesn't have an L for the third letter, and doesn't have it for the, well, I think this is last. The rules say fourth, but I think that might be a translation. It looks like it's last. So you have to think of different things. So I might say, the Liberty Bell, that's a monument, and then I put one of my tokens on it. Now, if somebody disagrees with that, they, on the other team, they just push this token up to the question mark and we'll argue over it after the timer has run out. But meanwhile, we're looking at things, clothes and accessories. So I might say, sleeveless gown, and put something here for a TV show that start with a T. Um, wow. Um, I'm going to pick, uh, whoa, and I can't think, and the time has run out. No worries to the other team. We flip it, and now it's their turn. And so now they start saying different things um, and putting out letters until both teams go by and no one's put anything out on their turn, which means no one can think of anything, or everything's filled. At that point, you're going to get points equal to the stars that are shown on the cards. These are removed. The next team gets to go first. New letters are flipped over like this. And we go again. After several rounds, whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. Well, that team is the winner of the game. The cards themselves are a lot of really good categories. The cards are kind of the heart of the game. You even have some blank ones so you can put you know, whatever you want down. They have the word in four languages, so we always read it out loud really quickly so that it can help because it's in the one corner. It's not always easy to see, but the picture does help. And the combination between the words and the letters is pretty good. And they also have more common letters. You'll see some weird letters. And then you'll also see, like here we have K and Q, both weird, unique letters, but they're both there, so you can use either one of them. These cards can all be turned over to be zero, which means you have to say a word that the letter is not in at all, which is actually fairly easy. You can, you know, get rid of one of these. Then we have these cards here. These are the scoring cards. These are awful. You start like this, there's zero, zero. Then you go to one, and I'm like, okay, well, one is, and there's car things on both sides. They're not in any order. This is a seven, doesn't really, looks like a backwards F. And then you're like, okay, which side did I go on? Ah, what a pain. Just use a scoring app. These tokens themselves are fine. The game comes in a square box, which I actually really like. It has a monitor that most kids haven't ever seen, but, <laughs> but it does hold the game. Everything fits nice and neatly in this square box. It's, it's a cute packaging. Now, even though I'm not a big fan of those scoring cards, they're, they're ridiculous, I just get rid of them. But the rest of the thing works really well. I like the packaging. I like the, uh, the cards. I like the artwork. I like how everything flips over. And maybe this would have done better as a board where you just had that, you know, one board with all those cards, one, two, three, laid out on for you. But really, the fact that it fits in this box is pretty nice. And 
you know, normally with these games, I might complain about the cards, but the combination of letter mixed with the categories gives you a lot of replayability from the box. I like team games with party games because everyone's shouting things out and you might sit there and go, ah, I don't know. And then suddenly you have that, that thought and you can guess a word and that's cool. And you're thinking on the other team. You're watching what the other team is saying. You're listening to them. And this game does have its fair share of minor arguments. That doesn't really meet that, uh, that category. But still, you're sitting there thinking, okay, don't say the word, don't say this word, don't take that one, because I know uh, something that has the third letter of V and is a musical instrument or whatever. So I like that. Now, the rules have some, some weird rules. Like, if you say something that meets, you know, has a letter in multiple positions, you can put it there. Okay, that happens occasionally. Or if you meet a word that isn't, meets the w letters in multiple positions and is in different categories. Like, all right, are you kidding me? We're having a hard enough time just thinking of a word that starts with that letter. And sometimes you'll run across like V can be hard to use, like V as the second letter. There's sometimes a word or some letters just don't fit in the first, second, or third category depending on what letter it is. But it doesn't matter because you don't have to get every single one right. It's just can you beat the other team and get more than them. I like it. It's a fast, silly, fun little part game that if you like guessing words and working together as a team, it will be enjoyable. That's Password Express. Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Hey, shut the door. Boop. Boop.